Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendaidukai and in this video I explain the most common MIDI messages like MIDI CC. I'll be happy if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. What are MIDI messages? In simple, simple terms, they are commands of a communication protocol with which two or more devices can exchange information. In this tutorial, I will only go into a small part of the commands, the MIDI messages, which should be sufficient for most cases as a basic understanding. Let's start with MIDI CC, MIDI Control Change Messages. Each MIDI controller has several knobs, faders, pedals, or I'll call them simplified knobs now, that can send MIDI CC messages. These knobs are all numbered like a return address. And with each of these knobs, you can send um, certain values, which are then communicated via MIDI deconnected target devices. Concerning the possibilities of the controller, some controllers can send messages like on or off or zero or one or any value from one to 127 or even higher numerical values up to 16,384. This creates a pairing controller and numerical value, which is sent to the target device via MIDI. On the target device, it is then defined which parameters are controlled there. For example, controller 74 sends a value 80 to the filter cutoff, or knob with the number 64 sends a value 0 and thus switches off the sustain of the, on the target device. This is the basic principle of MIDI CC. Of course, in the vast majority of devices or software, a so-called mapping table can be created so that the knob with the number 74 mentioned earlier no longer controls the filter cutoff, but the filter resonance. So simply a list that contains, for example, the following redirections. When a controller number 5 comes in, send it to the receiver number 74 and hand over the value 80. Around MIDI CC, there are altogether four important terms which should be known. MSB, LSB, RPN and NRPN. The standard MIDI CC is a MIDI CC MSB. MSB stands for most significant byte and sends values between 0 and 127, depending on the controller or receiver. If higher values are required, for example more than 128 values, a second MIDI CC called LSB is required as a uh, supplement of the MSB. LSB means least significant byte. This pairing for higher values was necessary because MIDI was released in um, 1983 and um, 128 states were already a lot and each byte was very expensive. This possibility to use the two CCs separately or as a paired message was a very flexible way to deal with many different controllers and synthesizers. Pairing MSB and LSB means multiplying them. So MSB multiplied with LSB. So you get a total of 128 multiplied by 128 equals to 16,348 unipolar values or minus 8,192 to plus 8,192 bipolar values. For example, on the receiver side, you could define the pitch band range between minus two and plus two semitones. So um, from each semitone to the next, a transition glide of 4096 fine steps would be possible. So there wouldn't be any steps audible. You should only hear just a smooth glide. 
The Media Association has defined some media CCs as standard and they are called RPN. RPN stands for Registered Parameter Numbers. If these are implemented, every MIDI device should react in the same way um, when, for example, the MIDI CC74 filter cutoff is received with a value. The remaining and non-standard numbers are called NRPN. NRPN is the abbreviation for Non-Registered Parameter Numbers. So these numbers may be assigned by manufacturers or developers for their specific purpose for their products. For other products, these NRPNs may be used for completely different controls. In total, there are 128 MIDI, MIDI CC messages. As an example, a few MIDI CC RPNs defined by the MIDI association are MIDI CC1 is the mod wheel, and if you need um, some finer steps, there is MIDI CC33 um, as an LSB over here. So you see, this is the most significant byte and this is the least significant byte. Or for example, MIDI CC11 for expression pedals. There you have another LSB, least significant byte, MIDI CC43. Or something like MIDI CC64 for the sustain pedal. Um, and there are some other MIDI CCs at the end of the whole list that are a little bit special. Maybe you should know them. They are used normally for a lot of whole complete um, device steering or control. So a channel mute or reset all controllers or all notes off. This is uh, mostly known as the panic <laughs> panic knob or something, um, you should be aware of those MIDI CCs. This is the official industry standard, but of course it is also possible to create your own table for your own purposes, but then it is no longer an industry standard. The last term is called SysX. SysX stands for System Exclusive Messages. System messages uh, or SUSIX messages are used to communicate in a more complex way with mostly hardware. So it is possible with SUSIX to send more than just 1 to 128 or more values. It is possible to download or upload patches, complete parameter settings, songs and much more. This is also often used as a backup possibility. Unfortunately, not all devices can do SUSIX. There are some more terms and topics you have to deal with once you get deeper into your equipment. Then you should look for more technical documentation, preferably from your hardware. Thanks for watching. My name is still Odo Sendaiduke and if you have any questions or comments about this topic or any other topic, please let me know and leave a comment. If you find the video helpful, like, subscribe and share it with your friends or completely strangers. It might be helpful to them as well. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy and save the future. Take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.